What's going on everybody, Jesse here. Today I'm gonna to teach you how you can build your own text messaging automation system for your Airtable. So how this tool is gonna to work is you can set it up to run every day and it's going to send you text message notifications depending on what you want. So in this example, I have a little Airtable with just three columns in it. I have my tasks, the due date, and whether or not it is completed. So the logic of the program we're going to build is we're going to have a program that runs every day and if the date matches today's date and the project is not completed, it's going to send us a text message reminder uh, custom to how we build it. So I can run it and you can watch in real time that it runs and for one of my three it has sent me a text message because that's what we've built it to do. So I'm gonna show you how you can really quickly build this from scratch. You can also customize it however you want to fit the criteria for your own Airtable workflow. So to get started, I'm just gonna delete everything in this program because we're gonna build it from scratch. Uh, just so you know, there's a little bit of setup that goes into getting Airtable set up on Wayscript for use. I'm gonna post in the link uh, for this video a link to our docs which explains you step by step how to set up your Airtable. It's pretty simple. Okay, so first thing that we're going to do is we are going to drag in Airtable. So as I said, this is already set up, but uh, in the docs you can read about how to set up your tutorial and what it's asking me for is a table name. So the name of my table is to do. So I'm just going to type in to do. I would like to get records and I want all of the rows. So I get a little preview here of my rows and now I can grab the data. So the things that I care about are the due dates, uh, the names of those tasks, and whether or not they are completed. And you should notice here that zero, the way that Airtable returns it, means it's not completed and true means it is completed. Uh, that'll moment matter in a moment. Um, next thing we need to know is what is today's date because this program is going to automatically run every day. So I'm just going to drag the date time module in, put in my time zone, and I'm going to grab today's date. So that is now a variable in my program. So what I want to do is I'm going to go through every single row of my Airtable and check does today's date match the due date of that item and is it completed or not. So if it's not completed and the day it's due is today, we're going to send a text message. So to go through each row, we're going to use a loop and we're going to plug in our due date, the task, and whether or not it's completed. And now we've created these iterator values um, that we're going to check against. So what we're going to do is inside this loop, so we're saying for each one of those items, of those rows, if the due date is the same as the date, right? So we're saying if the due date of that item is the same as today's date and uh, the completed item, so whether it's completed or not, um, is not the same as true. So what we could do is say not the same as true, but we could also put it in to say is the same as zero, because as we said that that's the way that the data comes in, which you can see a preview of here. All right, so let just make this a little bigger so you can read it. So if the due date of that item is the same as today's date and whether or not the item completed is not the same as true, then we want to send a text message. So I'm going to go in here and grab the text message module and stick it in and we will say this task item, I like put in quotes just so it's a little more clear in my text message, is due today. Awesome. So last thing that we want to do is we don't want to have to come in here and press the run button every day. So we're going to use a time trigger to set this to run every day at 8.30 a.m. So that way, first thing in the morning, I know about the stuff that's due that day. I turn my trigger on 
And just like that, our program is built. So now we have a tool that every day will check, do we have these items, and will send us a text message. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. Please subscribe if you want to see more. Leave comments, ask questions, and thanks for watching. Bye.